Hello there, I hope you're all keeping well in this strange time we're having. Um, today I'll be reading a poem in support of Room to Read and Feeding America's Child Hunger Program. It's called Space World, and it's by Electra Spillamandy. She's nine years old in Bath in the UK. The story begins with a girl called Ellie. Ellie was magic because she had special powers. She can fly and has electrical powers. She discovered this when she was nine and she was walking in a field. It started raining and all of a sudden she got struck by lightning. After she, after she got struck by lightning, she went home to her family. Her family was her mother, her father, her older sister, her younger brother, and her granny and grandpa. When she came, when she came in, her hair was standing on end. Her mother said, what's wrong with your hair? I don't know, replied Ellie, I'll brush it. One year later, she was walking in the woods near her house when she got lost. It got dark and she couldn't find her way home. She came across a hill with a hole in it. She thought she should sleep there for the night and wait for daytime to find her home. She woke up and realized that she was actually in a spaceship. Dun dun dun. The spaceship took her to a planet that she had never heard about before. When she got out of the spaceship, she saw this weird creature. It kept changing from color, from red to yellow to green and back again. It also kept changing shape from big to medium to little. Her eyes were wide as she stared at the creature as it said, you must have a vaccine and go into quarantine to stay here. Ellie refused and tried to fly away, but realized that her powers were not working. From her attempts to use her powers, she was so tired that she fell asleep. When Ellie woke up, she was in quarantine. The creature she had called Swirly had vaccinated her and put her here. She noticed a plug socket on the wall. She put her hands on the socket and felt her powers returning. She used her electric powers to blast a hole in the wall and fly away. Just before she left, Swirly said, wait for me, I want to escape too. Ellie replied, okay, but on one condition. You must spend the rest of your life as a traffic light in my town. Swirly agreed to this, so she grabbed his tentacle and flew away from the planet. She found her way home by listening to her heart. Swirly was a very happy traffic light. The end, or is it? Now I nominate Tommy Flanagan and Golden Brooks to do the same as I've done today. And I'm sending much love and light to all of you.